So we're playing Tony Hawk in Call of Duty Zombies. And look at this crap, bro. We got a little rampy ramp. Only if we had a skateboard. But we do have these skeletons. It's kind of funny. You can actually hear their bones clanking together. Oh, it's kind of goofy. I think these are from Derizendrock. I don't know why they chose the, the skeletons for the zombie models, but it is kind of funny. And we also have a rampage inducer, like from Cold War. I probably won't use that because this is the first time I'm playing this map. Yeah, we do have to turn on the power to get Pack-A-Punch. I figured we'd have to do that. But yeah, bro, why, why did they sound so goofy? Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I guess we'll sit here and spray into them, build up some points. I know there's going to be some challenges we have to do. I wonder if it has anything to do with riding skateboards, though. Like we, I see some letters floating around in this little area. Oh, bro, I'm so excited. I used to play Tony Hawk when I was younger. I think this is the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. I know I played that a little. I was more of a Tony Hawk's underground type of guy. Mainly the second one. But all of the Tony Hawk games were pretty fun. All right, nice. We finished round two. And we still don't have enough to get out of this door. That's 3,000 points. That's crazy. Maybe I should have got the Rampage Inducer. But I don't know if I can turn it off. I'm pretty sure you can in Cold War. But I don't know if they thought that far ahead when putting it into Black Ops 3. I could totally buy this M14. But I don't know. I'll, I'll kind of hold off for a little bit. Maybe there is some kind of submachine gun once I buy this door. I'll just waste the rest of my 1911 ammo. Oh, yeah. Bro, I feel like there's a delay with my knife. This is not cool. I I've been doing so many melee challenges recently. This is not how the, the knifing should work. I, I should be able to knife a little bit faster than this. Maybe it has something to do with I don't have any ammo in my 1911. I feel like that is a feature because when you're trying to reload your gun, sometimes it actually takes longer. But I don't know. I'm not trying to reload it right now. It's just, uh, it's just being a little weird, I guess. I guess I should have saved that double points for next round, but whatever. Oh yeah, slip and slide. Now where is a gun I can buy that isn't a shotgun? I want to actually build up some points. I was hoping for like an assault rifle, submachine gun. Oh, the MPL? Okay. I think it is all Black Ops 1 weapons, which are probably my favorite. I do like Black Ops 2 weapons, but there's some about Black Ops 1 guns that feel so much better. Do we have a soul box? I feel like I've seen a soul getting sucked up. I don't know. Where, where did the soul go? We got Toy Machine. I, I think these are sponsors for different Tony Hawk. <laughs> not, not Tony Hawk characters, but like in real life. I'm pretty sure the skaters have different sponsors. I don't know if these are the real ones, but it's something like that. I'm not too familiar with the sport. But can I skate up and get this 100? I have no idea. Oh, insta-kill. Might as well go around and knife these zombies. But yeah, guys, if y'all do end up enjoying this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, leave a like and a comment. I would really appreciate it. I had some kind of melee challenge in mind, but I feel like I've been doing those a lot lately. So I might chillax on those challenges for a minute. I have been having a lot of fun with them, but every now and then, just want to hop into a custom map, kind of play the game normally. I feel like it is so quiet right now. Y'all will obviously have some background music. It won't be as bad, but it just sounds so quiet until I shoot a gun. It's like the gun noises and then the skeleton bones clanking together. That's all I'm hearing. But we need to figure out what the heck we're supposed to do. Oh, we literally just run into them. Um, okay. I did like that sound effect. I think that's the actual one from the game. It's like a real subtle, wh whatever you want to call that noise. Yeah, look, we have electric cherry just hanging from the roof. Oh, we can actually get up there. I thought we would have had to do something like get a speed boost power up or something. So I guess it. Oh, my. Oh, my. Bro, like I'm telling you, I cannot hear anything. Like I barely heard the clanking of their bones. And then I was dead. I have the volume set to what I usually do. I actually had to increase my computer's volume so I could hear a little better. Yeah, like the guns, they sound pretty loud, but that's about it. <laughs> oh, 5,000 for that. Wow, I feel like there's so many little parkour things we have to do, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to do to get up there. So you see the letters, they are starting to spell skate. 
So I'm guessing once we can build up points to get all these doors open, that's all we have to do. I mean, I'm just guessing. I have no idea. But I guess that's what we'll start working on. Oh, I'll be smart and save this double points for next round. Yeah, 5,000 for this door. And I'm pretty sure that's also 5,000. I guess we'll get this one open. And maybe I can jump to the T. Oh, yeah. I didn't know if that would actually work. But we do have double points. We'll try to get up as many points as we can. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are going to start playing this. It's already got four stars on the Steam Workshop. And the highest is five. I haven't seen many people make videos yet. So that's why I decided to play this one. But as long as it doesn't start crashing or anything, I feel like this is a really cool idea for a zombies map that not many people have done. Or actually, I don't know if anybody's made a Tony Hawk type zombies map. So this might be a first. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. But I can't hear y'all. Talk louder. I just hope I don't have to fill up any soul boxes. So I haven't found any. Oh, crap. Power's right here. Okay. <laughs> I thought power was just going to be spelling skate. Oh, wow. It's over. Okay. You know what? We're actually going to use this rampage inducer. I feel like the game was moving pretty slow. I want to try to get back to where we were real quick. And it did look like we can turn it off whenever we want to. But holy crap. This is not round two. I, I thought it still progressed with rounds. It, it was just faster zombies. Why is there so many? Guess I'll grab the double points and then just start spraying into them. All right, I got the kaboom. 800, nice. Now we have 6,000. I feel like on round two, that was a ridiculous amount of zombies. 23 total? I don't think there's supposed to be that many zombies, but I guess that's what the little rage inducer does. Yeah, if you do want to try this map out for yourself, I will have a link in the description. Definitely go show the map creator some support. And we're just going to buy the MPL again. <laughs> Seemed like the best weapon to build points. Oh, death machine. Oh, yeah. Out of here, skeletons. Oh, wow. This is a crazy round three. Uh, I don't know if I want the rage inducer on anymore. Can I get back upstairs, actually? I have no idea. That, that's the reason I didn't rebuy quick revive last time. Because I didn't think I could get back up there. I don't know how you would do that. Unless you eventually get some kind of teleporter. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, crap, man. I don't even know what that power-up was. <laughs> I kind of ran away. Yeah, I guess we'll buy this again. Yeah, I felt like I got stuck on something right here. <laughs> uh, I knew it wasn't just because the zombie was in front of me. So we do have to be careful with that. We'll turn this power on. I feel like the zombie's about to go crazy. Yeah, as soon as I'm able to turn this rage inducer off, I'm definitely going to do it. And we're at round four, and we have 57 kills. That's definitely not how this is supposed to be played. <laughs> That's crazy. It should just make the zombies faster and possibly take more damage. I didn't realize it, it spawns so many extra zombies. That kind of makes it easy, wouldn't it? Like, if they're about the same health as a round four zombie, I can just grind up points. That's why we're on round four and we're basically back to the same spot we were last time. Ah, excuse me. And I want to figure out how to get this 100. Do I just slide like the rest of them? Okay, yeah. It was only 250 points, but totally worth it. I need to figure out how to get up here, though. Oh, my goodness. I think there is an Easter egg guide, but I want to try to figure this crap out by myself. If I take too long, I'll definitely skip through some parts. But it's always a little satisfying when you figure stuff out yourself. Ooh, right here? Whoa. I feel like I got... Whoa. Oh, my goodness. I started taking damage. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I felt like I got an extra boost when I jumped off that. I don't know if y'all saw that, but that was really weird. Yeah, we're going to jump again. And I feel like we just floated up. But I did want to get this 100 points. That's almost like on Forsaken in the Pack-a-Punch room. You just start taking random damage. And now we got to skate up for Jug. <laughs> That's so cool. It does feel kind of weird that <laughs> you have to slide. You're not actually skating. But I do like how he tried to make it feel like a Tony Hawk game. As much as he could within zombies. But yeah, we don't have quite enough points to do anything else. Because I, I feel like something's going to happen once we get the E. But I'm pretty sure this is like 5,000 again. Oh, it's only 2,000. Okay. There we go. Skate. Uh, that didn't seem to do anything. I don't know what other letters there could be. <laughs> yeah, bro. There's like multiple of these things right here. Uh, what the heck is that? It's definitely not collecting souls. Okay, bro, this feels super duper weird. 
155 kills on round five. That is kind of ridiculous. Oh, what the heck? You just run into him? Oh my gosh. Bro, I'm like trying to think way too hard about this. Everything is so simple. I guess I got a little confused because this was on top of the ramp. But yeah, let me go around and get all these little boxes. Oh yeah, nice. I feel like that was the same sound effect after we got all the skate letters. All goals are complete. Extra perk slot and pack a punch unlocked. I thought there was like four total challenges. I feel like we only did the skate one, the little crate one, and we got all the little hundred things that were floating in there. What was the fourth thing that we did? Was it just getting up there, getting that little uh, radio? I have no idea. But yeah, it says that pack a punch is open, but I have no idea how to get back up there. Oh my gosh, there were stairs. Ha has the staircase been here the whole time? No way, bro. Ah, I don't really want to pack a punch the MPL. That doesn't sound too fun. I'm going to run out of ammo so fast. Yeah, I think it is all Black Ops 1 guns. Um, China Lake. Ah, uh, no, I'm, I'm not getting it. Screw that. All right, let's get double tap. And the M16. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get that. I don't think there's any, like, crazy wonder weapons in the box. Maybe there's the ray gun. The MP5. I don't know. Part of me wants to pack a punch this 1911. See if it's any good. It's probably just the basic 1911. Enable music. Oh, bro. So if you're not making videos, I definitely recommend turning this on. It probably won't sound as quiet. Yeah, bro. That does kind of suck. We already finished pretty much everything on the map. But I guess we'll try to go for all the perks. I do want to get this pack a punch real quick. Because I did in the round. Oh my, look at this pack punch camo. That's sick. Oh, we got little doggies. Yeah, bro, it's like round six. And <laughs> we completed the map. The, the rampage inducer was a good idea, but I feel like something was wrong about it. And maybe if it didn't add that many zombies, because I just got pretty much unlimited points in five rounds. That really didn't take too long at all. Oh my goodness. Yeah, get out of here, zombies. Yeah, I do hope everybody's doing well. I have been super duper busy at work. That's why uploads have slowed down a little. But I'm trying to get it back to every three to four days. Almost twice a week. But today I actually got off work a little early. But it wasn't just to record this video. I had to go to Walmart and get a bunch of flea stuff for my dogs. I had the people come out and spray like a month and a half ago. But the fleas just never went away. And I'm actually having them come back out tomorrow. But I went ahead and got a bunch of extra stuff. That way I can treat my dogs with like the pills. And ah, uh, it's just, just an annoying process when you have fleas. Especially when you pay somebody to come spray and it doesn't work. I don't necessarily think it's their fault. But I don't know. It, it's just annoying. So hopefully after tomorrow there's going to be no more fleas. Because I feel so bad. My dogs have been scratching so much. And I just know they're super uncomfortable. I hate that they have to go through this. So yeah, hopefully nobody's dealing with something similar. And what the heck? There's like the MP5 up there. That's so random. Oh no, oh no. Mm. No! It wouldn't let me up there. Dang, I wonder if you can double pap. That would be a little bit helpful <laughs> with the amount of zombies. Yeah, we'll grab PhD Flopper as well. Get that crap out the way. Okay, this Rage Inducer just... It, it made it way too easy. Let's turn this crap off. Maybe we'll actually start progressing in the rounds. Um, get out of my way! Oh yeah, get out of here, zombies. Die to my 1911. Oh yeah. Yeah, I do really like this Black Ops 1 HUD. It's very close to Black Ops 1, but it seems a little updated. I think it looks really cool. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh no. Uh, okay, okay, I can't get my weapon. Uh, give me my gun. Oh my gosh, I almost lost it. I would have been a little furious if that happened. Oh yeah. Bro, we've gone this whole game with the Outspeed Cola. Let me go ahead and grab that. Oh my. There is a five perk limit. And I think it's actually a four perk limit because once we open up Pack-A-Punch, it said we got a free perk slot. So that does kind of suck. I don't really like it when custom maps do that. Set that four perk limit. Especially if you're going to throw this many perks in here. But uh, I didn't make the map, so whatever. Mm. Whatever, man. Yeah, I guess since we can't get any other perks, there's not really anything else to do. 
I think putting the Rage Inducer might have ruined it a little bit, but it was still a pretty cool map to check out. I do hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you did and you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, consider becoming a channel member and joining my Discord. I'll have all the links in the description. But yeah, guys, hopefully everybody has a fantastic day, and I'll see y'all in the next one.